Hello everyone! So I'm filming this video for Scrap and Happy Exos um, challenge giveaway. Um, she is um, hosting a giveaway and there is a Christmas theme um, to it and you had to make a decorate a matchbox. And so please check out her channel. I will leave the link below to her video. And I hope you enjoy what I've made. So let's get to it. Um, some of the things that I used for this project, um, you can see here, these are Studio Calico um, wood veneers. I use the um, My Mind's Eye All Is Bright paper stack for my uh, matchbox. I cut it out with my Cricut. And this is actually um, the paper that I used. One of her requirements was that it be in creams and whites. Um, so um, this is what I used for my um, to make my matchbox. And then I've used this pearl trim. And it's all over my desk, of course. Sorry. <laughs> um, I used this uh, per perfect pearls um, in the silver pearl and the white opal. I use some rock candy distress stickles and some of this trim here. Okay, so here is my uh, project. It is a matchbox and we'll start at the top I guess. I use some of that tinsel trim as the hanger for hanging it on the tree. Um, my matchbox has that paper, of course. Um, here's the lace. Oh, I had this, um, a, like a little, I want to say it was maybe nine inches, maybe less than that, six inches of uh, lace that I had left over from a project that I did. And so I put that down, and I have some of that lace, uh, the pearl trim here on top of that. And then I also wrapped it around this way, around the box and um, covered it with the rock candy stickles. So there is some shine to it, and I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but um, Jeanette, when you do get this, I hope that you do like um, the, the, the kind of the subtle shine that you see um, throughout the box. Um, I then put some of the wood veneers or stars and little um, snowflake looking things, as well as two white roses. They are um, what do you call it, um, enamel or plastic, I guess you could say. They're, um, they're not paper roses. Um, these two are from Michaels. And then I, again, put some perfect pearls down on top of each of the little um, wood veneers that you see here. And then here is the dangle. Again, this is one, one of the requirements for the challenge. I um, put a button here at the bottom and then what I did was I took some silver thread that I had, um, silver metallic thread, and sewed it up and around through the button through the loop um, and then tied it on the inside of the matchbox. So this is the dangle for the, um, the matchbox. Um, and then the back is pretty plain. I did not decorate the back because um, I didn't want to really cover the paper too much because actually you can see in the paper it's it's got a music um, kind of music theme to it and actually underneath all of this it said Silent Night you can't see it now because I covered it but I was trying not to and then I ended up doing it anyway so anyhow this is the outside of the box and I chose to decorate the inside so if you pull it this way because this this um, pearl is actually quite large it, it makes the box larger so what I what I would suggest is you pull it this way to see it and on the inside of the box is where I've decorated put a little tiny Christmas tree um, what you're seeing at the top the little tinsel is from the um, hanger and then I put some um, more of the wood veneers down here like snowflakes and um, there's a tree inside with a star at the top and then I just use some pearl pearl um, embellishments on the tree as well as some of the more of the rock candy stickles around the edges of the tree 
and then put some of the tinsel down at the bottom. Um, so that is the inside of the box. So there's kind of like, oh, and the tree is popped up on pop dots, so it's not sitting flush with the back of the box, so it's kind of a dimensional thing. I thought it, it kind of made this really cute sort of scene. Um, and then on the back, I um, signed it. So, and then the sides also have more more of that lace around the sides of the box. So, that is my project, and I will be sending it to Jeanette. Um, hopefully, it doesn't take too long to get there, because <laughs> it's coming from the east coast of the U.S., so um, I've got her information, and yeah, I hope everyone likes my project, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.